brought an ashtray from the Hotel Governor Snyder, which is downtown. It is now BJ's. I brought a football program from a 1953 Sunbury Sealands Grove football game. It was the first time that Sealands Grove ever beat Sunbury. And I brought something called Susquehanna Studies from January of 1940. It uh, has scholarly papers included mostly by uh, Susquehanna faculty. Ashtray is probably from the 1940s. There's a telephone number and all it is is 2121. No exchange. Can you uh, um, show us on the, the camera? There is the ashtray. And it says, Hotel Governor Snyder, free parking, routes 11 and 15, Sealands Grove, for reservations, phone 2121. Uh, I think in the 1950s, a prefix was given to the uh, Sealands Grove uh, telephone exchange, and it was Drake 4 and then the four digits. So this was obviously before that, and that's why I base it at probably somewhere between 1946 and 1949. The Susquehanna studies, and I'm sure there's multiple copies in the archives. As I said, uh, there are scholarly papers in here, mostly by Susquehanna faculty members, and then football program from 1953. Sealands Grove versus Sunbury. It was the first time that Sealands Grove ever beat Sunbury, and not only did we beat them, we shut them out 14 nothing. It was a, a great celebration, uh, long into the night. The football programs were from when I played. I have not only that program, but I have programs from all of my games from sophomore, junior, senior year. This was my junior year. So it's just something I hung on to and happy that I did. The Susquehanna Studies uh, was given to me by an old high school English teacher. Uh, I don't know how she acquired it, but uh, she passed it on to me. I would assume she was a Susquehanna graduate. Uh, this was from 1940. She probably graduated in the, in the teens. And this ashtray, I purchased it, uh, I guess it was this summer, whenever they had antiques on the avenue. Uh, it was a place that I frequented <laughs> frequently and just thought that I ought to have a souvenir from there.